What's going on YouTube and subscribers? Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are having an incredible day. I know I am. And today we are looking at December's 2022's shield box. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. And my drink for the day is eggnog. I know it says light eggnog. I honestly don't care what type of eggnog. I like eggnog. Sadly, I can only get about once a year. So, all right, let's get started. Uh, I forgot to grab a knife. Actually, you know, hold on. We'll be using a knife that I had previously um, unboxed. So uh, we'll use this instead. All right, let's get into it. All righty, I'm gonna set this to the side here. Let's see if I can't set that right there. Maybe, I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. Terrible lighting, hold on. That's a bit better. That sun shines in here and gets all dull. All right, so the first thing, oops, my bad. <laughs> all right, the first thing is the Armbar Slim Drive Multi Tool from Gerber. All right, so let's find that first. All righty, let's uh, zoom in a little bit here. All right, the Gerber Armbar's Slim Drive. I do not have this one, but um, I do have it's uh, it's like little brother. Um, I, I believe the one that I have is the Armgar Center Drive. And I would go get that too, but then we'd just maybe be making this video a lot longer. So, uh, yeah, silica gel, gel. Don't need it, but keep it. Never know when you'll need it. Alrighty. Just leave that knife out here. Who's, uh,. Who's excited for Christmas? Let me know down in the comments below. Did you guys uh, get all your Christmas stuff done yet? Or you just waiting to, um, ouch. You just waiting to kind of get everything done at last second. That I'm kind of doing a little bit of both. I don't quite have everybody, but um, there are some people that it will be kind of last second in certain things. The only reason I'm struggling with this is because these are extremely thick. Extremely thick. So. Alrighty. So, it looks like the normal, uh, the center drive that I have. Um, the center drive had a, had a knife here. Um, Actually, Center Drive had this exact same thing. Um, it didn't have this, though. What is this? It shows you pulled down. Good grief, that is stiff. <laughs> Might have to grab a knife just to pry it open. There we go. Oh, okay. So it's a bottle opener. Very cool. So 
So you got your bottle opener, you got a knife, which is stiffer than on Get Out, and then you have, well, I can call it this center drive, but it's not really the center drive. And it still seems pretty flimsy, because sometimes when I screw in, like sometimes it'll just bend. I mean, I would really wish that they had added another lock bar, or yeah, like a lock bar or something to hold that in place. But kind of like the knife, but it's all right. All right, cool. So there's the first product. Um. The the armbar slim drive takes a minimalist approach while giving you the tools to help you take care of any task on duty. A 2.5 inch long bit driver with a two sided one fourth bit and one hand access uh, 2.5 razor sharp frame lock blade don't get caught unprepared support your daily carry with robust tools in your pocket or on keychain to get out of any jam the msrp for that is 39.95 all right next thing um is the is the equinox watch cap from 221B Tactical. All right, uh, MSRP is $20. And I will read you guys this when I uh, open it here. All righty. So here is that cap. Element or eliminate the impossible. All right. Um, the description here says a watch cap beanie that was designed uh, specifically for police officers on patrol. It provides uh, superior warmth. Oops, I'm looking, doing that backwards. Um, superior warmth, fit, and comfort while being incredibly breathable. Because your head getting hot and sweaty, triggering you to have, or triggering you to have to take off your cap. Um, it kind of defeats the purpose of wearing one in the first place, right? Uh, the, this polyester beanie is, is that so lightweight and comfortable, you'll forget you're even wearing it. So, that's what the description says. I like their little um, rubberized label or logo there, as you can see. Shining the light. How does it feel? Well, it feels like it's part cloth and a lot of polyester. I'm gonna put this on and I'll show you guys what it, what it looks like. I'm gonna look like some kind of a weird looking gangster. Okay, I know I could take this off somehow. There we go. All right. Yeah, I know I placed a little bit of a mess. But yeah, that's that's uh that's what it looks like. How does it feel? Oops, it feels pretty good. Um, you can see maybe a little bit of the logo right there. But uh, I mean, yeah, it's a beanie. It's soft. Is it warm? I honestly don't know. I will have to definitely try that out. I wish it would fold down over my ears more. But. Anyways, yeah. All right. 
let's get started in the next product. Alrighty. So we got the beanie. We will just set that right right there. And then as you guys I kind of already looked through this somewhat. I uh, got uh, you can save 10% off on 221B's gear and apparel. Uh, use the code SHIELD shield box beanie for the next time you want to make a purchase for 10 percent off all right next thing on the list is the led emergency road flare from wagon msrp is 18 dollars i'll just put that up there actually is this it? Yes, it is. Alrighty. So look what we got here. Lots of information. Alright, so the Fred Light flashing roadside emergency disc. Uh, you seen it on the roads? Mm, I might have. Who knows? So it's uh, IP55 rating. Uh, the first five means uh, dust resistance and the second five means water resistance so uh, it's light it's magnetic takes batteries and it's made in the u.s like i said i 55p rating uh 38 hours uses three triple a batteries oh wow a lot of information all right let's think left side here um anyways you guys can uh can read some of that while I uh, do the description here. Uh, the LED emergency road flare from Wagon, a safe, bright, and effective tool for wearing motorists of an emergency roadside situation. A safe alternative to road flares, the FRED, F R E D, light is ip55 rated shatterproof and extremely bright fred uses led bulbs with 360 degree visibility with up to a mile radius a nine flash er and nine flash mods modes and a three white led work light featuring strong magnetic backing and hanging hook <clears throat> all right should we uh should we get this open with my trusty knife it's sharp i'm afraid to cut myself like i already did in this video i cut myself in every video i don't know what i'm talking about Bunch of the plastic here. Oh, cool. That comes with a bit of information. All right. Take that little piece off. Oops. read instructions before using we'll have to see about that all right so it looks like this light right off the bat if I can get it open there we go looks like it has a hook kind of goes at an angle I'm not sure why they did it like that should have just brought it up but anyways has a hook there's the magnet work no it doesn't all right we'll we'll get that to work here in a minute so it looks like it has uh flared uh edges with air 
air gap so it uh if this does collapse it's kind of like an air gap um it's kind of a rubberized plastic it feels more plastic than rubber but you can definitely tell there's some type of a rubber um some type of a rubber in it and then you can see the leds all the way around three leds on top looks like we might have to unscrew it so uh give me one more while i uh get this done hey guys so um i had to look at the uh <laughs> instructions here um I, I was just thinking you would just have to unscrew those two uh, screws and it would come right off but apparently not apparently there's two little uh, pieces of plastic here that is extremely thin like you can you can maybe get a fingernail on it that is it and according to the instructions here I'm supposed to pull on two tabs those two tabs how how do I how do I even pull that it is so small right there. Like, look, you can just get just a fingernail on it. There's no indentation or anything. So, um, yeah, just, just give me a moment, guys, and I'll figure this out. All right, you guys, I got to figure it out here. <clears throat> so, you're not supposed to literally pull out... I, I don't know honestly why they said right here to pull firmly on it. You don't pull it. You grab your two fingers or one finger, don't matter, and you try to pull it back, obviously. Now, they said if you can't get it because it is, there's a very small rubber seal around it to grab an, um, something to pry, put it in between both pieces and you can just pry it like that so yeah um two two bad things i don't really quite care about how they did this <clears throat> they could have gave us more of a better pull system um they couldn't have not put the ring on the outside they could have put it in the inside which definitely would have helped a lot also, um, yeah, made, made the pull tabs bigger and the screws. The screws are kind of a downside because if you think about it, if you're out stuck somewhere and your battery so happened to die and you brought batteries and you don't have a screwdriver, these things took a while to come out of this thing. Like, it took me a long time to screw. Those threads are so fine. Um, it took me at least a good minute and a half just to screw it. No joke. So, but, all right. Well, here's what the inside looks like. Now, pull that plastic. Oh, and there it goes on. I'm not even going to worry about screwing those on at the moment. We uh, figure out what this thing does. Okay, wow. So it looks brighter on. I mean, it's those three LEDs are, are decently bright. They look brighter on the uh, camera here. But um, yeah, so push the next button that turns it off. Push the next one. Okay, so it is flashing. I'll click the next one. That turns it off. Push it again. Okay, this one flashes red instead of yellow. Turn off, turn on. Single blink. Then we got the crazy, uh, <laughs> almost looks like a police or like emergency roadside service oh okay well that's pretty neat i like how that does that i 
Um, okay, so this, in my guess, is the SOS. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, two, three. Okay, so yeah, that's SOS. That's completely on. That's low. Okay, interesting. So it only shines on one side. I'm not sure why it does that. But okay. Oh, and it goes back to the light. All right, cool. Um, another small thing I don't like is you literally have to turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. You have to go through all these cycles just to get the one you want. I know it's a little, uh, bit counter -contuitive or just kind of a pain, but I'm, I'm assuming they did that so you don't have more buttons in it and that's why it has the waterproof rating that it does. So... All right, very cool. I'll screw these back in here. I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. So I just started the screw. And even if I take my screwdriver here, you can tell I'm turning it. It just takes forever. You can tell it's going in. It's just. Man, oh man, oh man. And this is me, you know, screwing this in quickly, you know. So, you can kind of see how this may also be a problem. <clears throat> I mean, I'm sure the reason it has that much length is because it's not just holding the back on. It's also holding the plastic and the parts inside. Which, I guess, I, like I said, I kind of understand if they did it like that. I just don't know why they couldn't put separate screws in the, um, in there. And then they could have had a rubber seal in the screw hole. So that's what make, would also make this partially waterproof. My guess is if there is any water that does go in, <clears throat> it's because the very light seal around the edges ends up busting or they end up seeping through um you know just seeping through that so all right cool <clears throat> very very cool yeah so this is taking a little long but we're gonna we're gonna keep on keeping on here Alrighty, so next thing from Shieldbox is the Black Talon Grip Gear Clip. MSRP, there we go, MSRP is $15. So let's see what that's happening. Alrighty. Nice packaging. It's a cardboard box. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. Looks like we got some stickers in here too. In a moment. All right. <clears throat> so, looks like uh, we got two stickers here. Very cool. And what I've been uh, doing with these, let me set some of this stuff aside, is, I'm gonna zoom out here. We have stickers on here now. And there's like three up here, you can't, oh. Uh, smile like so. Usually I'm gone at this time, this right around the time she wakes up, so. Anyways, so yeah, we got stickers. And we got another sticker to add on. Or I can add them both stickers, or just adding one. I figured uh, we could have a collection of stickers every time somebody gives us a sticker. So there you go. Where do you think we should put it? 
I think we're gonna put it right up here um, with the other one because I got all small stickers up here. If I can see it. Kind of got a bunch of stuff in the way here. Alrighty. There you go. We got the new sticker up. Awesome. It's another great way to add to the collection, right? Okay. So, we have take a load off on your, or take a load off, you deserve it. Holds your heavy gear and equipment. So it shows here that um, it literally holds up your body armor. Uh, get 10% off with the cold shield, with the code shield box. I talk so fast, I, I anyways. <laughs> Um, looks like they got an Instagram page at Get Black Talon at uh, GetBlackTalon.com. So it is a high trade steel clamp, six rare earth magnets for max hold, holds up to 30 pounds. Alrighty, let's uh, see what the description here says. So the Black Talon grip. As I said, the MSRP is $15. The Black Talon is a heavy duty hook and clamp with strong rubber coated magnet, magnet designed to hang heavy gear and equipment from metal walls. Okay. Um, used by law enforcement to hang to hang dry, uh, concealable body armor, and load-bearing vests outside of metal lockers holds up to 20 pounds. Okay, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on. I'm already seeing a problem here. Hold on. Okay, you see right there where it says 20 pounds? And right there it says 30 pounds. Somebody's got their, uh, you know, the pounds a little mixed up. I, I mean, I don't have 20 to 30 pounds to tell you exactly which one it is, but, but yeah, so, alrighty. So as I was uh, previewing it here, looks like it has a rubber kind of um, mouth to it on the front and the back and it's rubber all on the inside and you guys can't really see that you're just gonna have to trust me and that is a strong clip good grief those are some some real thick wires and it looks like this here feels like it's all rubber but not a rubber you can bend so it looks feels like that there might be metal inside and then the and then a rubber casing around it. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there's holes there, and those are the rare earth magnets. Oh, let's see. How many it's magnetic? Okay. They're pretty strong, you know? I mean, I know I ain't gonna shake off my knife. I can tell that just by doing this. It's not the strongest magnets in the world, but they are strong. Does it say what type of magnets they are again? Um, it just says a strong coated magnet. Um, I can definitely tell these are not uh, ninodidium magnets, which is an actual earth magnet. But they are pretty strong. I will give them credit for that. Um, yeah, it's just a, just a giant clip. Good grief. All right, well, the only thing I have magnet in my house is literally the fridge. So right now, this, I really can't use this at the moment. But 
like I said, guys, I am planning on moving in February to early March. So I'll definitely have a lot more stuff that I will be able to magnetize. So that's very cool. Alrighty. Well, let's see. We're going to do that just for a little bit of a light show. A little bit of party time. <laughs> I, I might just use that as that. Okay. <clears throat> so we got uh, Three Earth Magnet. Oh, wait. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold on. We got one last thing. Okay. I'm going to stop that before you guys get sick. All right. So we got the first responder door hanger. MSRP is three bucks. I thought we were done. I was gonna do a celebration light show. No, I'm just joking. Oh, I was gonna do a celebration, but not because we were done. <clears throat> oh, before we do that, guys, uh, looks like they have given us a Hollow Point Coffee Company. You get a free bullet valve cap with any coffee purchase. If you just uh, scan right there, it says to claim, scan the QR code to add valve caps to your cart. Add bags of coffee to your cart. At checkout, use the code free caps and you'll receive valve caps for free at a low price of ten dollars of a value so very cool and that is all for that all right now we'll do what we're in here for Alrighty, this is uh while you're away 911 emergency entry notification for police fire and medical uh due to emergency call first responders entered your building some items may be out of place and you would check mark which ones were out of place where they uh no damage was done to them or damage was done add a little bit of note add the incident number all righty so the, fir the first responder door hanger a great way to notify a homeowner that first uh, responders have made entry into a residence give the citizen your community peace of mind leaving a simple indicator of entry so we'll see uh we'll see how good of a quality they are and i when i say quality i mean how thick the plastic and or paper is see how many we get Okay, so we get three of them. And for the MSRP for being three bucks, these are a dollar a piece. Uh, they do feel like a cardboard, and surprisingly, they feel quite thick. Very nice. So, pretty much the good quality cardboard. <laughs> if there's even such a thing as good quality cardboard. Would I ever use these? Um, well, here's the thing. I will never say never because you never know when you'll ever need them. So, yeah. Alrighty. So, we got that. We got that. Let me put my knife away. We got the, uh, I'm almost going to call it the center drive again. The uh, Amber Slim Drive. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. We're missing. Oh, here we go. I knew I was missing something. And we got the 221B Bean Hat. I don't know how I want to do that. <laughs> probably, probably just like that. How about that? We'll go like that, like that. See what I mean, guys? It's just so counterintuitive. Alrighty. 
and there's the light show so uh let me know what you guys think down in the comments below um <clears throat> The total uh, estimated value was uh, $95.93. So, yeah. And if you want to scan that to get your next box free, you can. There we go. Refer three new subscribers and earn a free box. Scan and send to your referral link. So there you go, guys. There's a shield box for you. Uh, what I wear and or use any of these. <clears throat> to be honest with you, I think I'll use them all. Um, this year, I might just throw in my pocket. Um, there will be at one point where I will actually show my 2023 um, EDC. But... Uh, this I'll definitely use. This I may throw in the car. I might even just leave it here. Um, that way when we we got like some type of big prize or something like that. I don't know. We might use it or I don't know. You guys let me know if I can use this in my, uh, in my YouTube channel or use it in any of my videos. Let me know. You've seen all the like, like shows I guess. So... I like the beanie. I wish it covered my ears a little bit more. I definitely will use that. Actually, I might just throw this in one of my bags because I normally wear a hat. And yes, I normally do get sweaty. So I do understand where they're coming from on that. Uh, at the same time, it's always nice to, if you need a secondary hat, with a hat on top of that. <laughs> um, this year, I cannot use this black talon at the moment, but I know I can use in the future. I do have one vest I could put up um I literally can't put it up now like I said I don't have anything magnetic at the moment um I am planning on getting another vest here eventually uh this I will probably won't use this I will probably just keep it but never say never and yeah so anyways let me know if you, if any of you guys uh like any of this stuff and also let me know if you like eggnog. I love it. Like I said, I don't care what flavor or light or heavy, as long as it's not um, that fake sugar stuff. No offense to you guys. I'm just saying I think that's the only one I really don't quite care about. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.